everyone, my name is Laura. I'm one of the keepers here at the Santa Fe College Teaching Zoo. This month, we're celebrating Halloween by bringing the zoo to you with some keeper talks and Halloween themed enrichments. Today, I'm very excited to introduce you to our three Galapagos tortoises, Larry, Curly, and Mo. Galapagos tortoises are the largest tortoise species in the world. They can grow more than five feet in length four to five feet in width, and can weigh more than 500 pounds when fully grown. Two of the most distinct features of a tortoise are their shells and their feet. Their shells are very important to their survival. They're actually encompassing the rib cage, which means that unlike what we see in cartoons, tortoises can't walk right out of their shells because they're attached to their bone structure. They use the shells as protection from predators or injuries, and as a big heating panel. The large size and dark coloration allows the tortoises to gather a lot of heat from the sun which they'll use as energy for digestion and movement. And their feet are big and bulky which we call elephantine feet which just means they look like the feet of an elephant. Their feet have to be this big and bulky because they're supporting all that weight when they move. Now tortoises are herbivores, which means they eat things like grasses, flowers, vegetables, fruits. Here at the zoo, we give them a salad with lettuce, carrots, apples, and a specially designed nutritional turtle pellet. But today we've brought them some nice carved pumpkins for enrichments. And we've actually carved one of their favorite birds into one of the pumpkins. It's the Galapagos Island Finch. They have a very nice relationship with the finches that live in the Galapagos Islands. The finches will sit on their shells or around their feet and actually pick at their skin to remove any insects or dead skin that may be laying there. And the tortoise's reaction to this is extending all their legs and neck. We call this reaction finching. And here, zookeepers use this reaction by rubbing the tortoise's skin, having them do the finching behavior to expose all the parts of their necks and legs that we normally can't see because they're tucked under their shell. And we make sure that all of their limbs are nice and healthy. Well, thank you very much for joining us today, and I 